What's up guys? Welcome to the video. We all know there's hackers out there. We all know there's bad guys out there. And we as organizations need to strengthen our defenses. That's what this series is about. This is called Defense Against the Dark Arts. We're going to be showing you a couple of things throughout this multi-video series. We're going to show you how to build an attack defense lab, how to execute some attacks, and then how to find them in your network. This is going to be fun. It's going to be rad. Let's get to it. To build your attack defense lab, you need two things. You need your detection software. So that's your antivirus, your EDR, your SIM, all of that type of stuff. You need it on hand and ready. And number two, you need a machine to actually test on. Now, this machine should be a representation of your environment or as close to a, a representation of your environment as possible. So you're going to need all of your agents installed on there, your EDR agent, all of that type of stuff needs to be on here so that we can actually detect. It should be joined to the domain so that you're inheriting your group policies to see if your security policies are actually working, all of that type of stuff. It needs to be as close as possible to a machine that is joined to your network, okay? If you can grab a laptop or something like that for testing, even better, that's better than a virtual machine. Just don't take like a production laptop and do this. I'm pretty sure Pamela and account will not be happy with you if you break her machine <laughs> but take something that you're allowed to use and that's a close representation of your environment now let's dive in to our detection software so I am using Elasticsearch the security module to do all of this okay so if you open up the sidebar here you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff for us but we're just going to be concentrating on the security on the security section for now now with Elasticsearch, there are two ways that you can approach this, okay? You can go for the cloud-based version or you can go for the on-prem version, okay? So the on-prem version, you're gonna have to build it yourself and it's gonna live inside your environment and it can only see the endpoints and the servers that are within your environment, okay? Or you could go the cloud route. Now the cloud route is great. The cloud route will allow you to send agents to all of your machines and then once they're connected to the cloud, even if they leave your network, you can still monitor them. You can still see if there's any threats on those machines. That is the huge advantage with cloud-based security. So let's quickly go over to the detections tab. You can see we have no detection alerts. There's nothing going on here. Why? That's because we haven't installed any agents. Let me show you. So you can go to the agents tab over here. Um, you can go to the download page, which will take you over here. I have already done all of this, okay? I've already moved the agent over to the machine that we're going to be testing on. So we can scroll down here. And you can see they even give you the command that you need to run to install it. So let's just copy that command. Let's move this over there. You can see I have already downloaded and extracted all of the relevant files. Now we're just going to go in and paste the command that we got earlier and it's gonna start installing. Yes, this is still a beta production agent. It's pretty cool, but these concepts can be applied to any um, detection software, okay? So you don't have to use Elasticsearch, I just like to use it, um, but there we go, we should be running. Now, let's get over back to Elasticsearch and let's just have a look at the overview. Um, agent, sorry. We should have an agent checking in. There we go we have phone one in. So that's step number one done. We are now connected to our detection software. Now we need to go ahead and install Atomic Red Team on this machine. Okay, Atomic Red Team is developed by a company called Red Canary. Really, really cool company. They do some great open source stuff for the community. So let's open up another PowerShell uh, prompt as administrator. Let's just move into the users folder, Bob. We'll go documents to make life easier. Um, we need to set our execution policy to bypass. Okay. And you can say a yes to all. And there we go. And I am going to use these PowerShell strings to install Atomic Red Team. I will make sure that some links and references to all of this will be down below in the description. So go and check it out. Go, then we're gonna type install and it's going to be atomic red team and then we're gonna say get atomics okay what this is gonna do this is gonna download 
all of the different atomic files that we're going to need throughout the process uh, just kind of does everything all for you it's actually really cool there we go awesome that should be done might take a couple of seconds to do this depending on your networks and say yes now your antivirus might scream at you during this which is good it's a good thing if your antivirus goes off and it says it's detected some malicious files being downloaded. That's great. Okay, that's a really good thing. Awesome. We're done. There we go. So now we can just do a quick test. We can say invoke atomic test. We can say all and show details brief. Okay, hit that there. And there we go. You can see it's just listing out all the different tests that we've just installed on our machine. So that brings us to the end of today's video. We have installed Atomic Red Team and all of the atomics that comes with it. We have made sure that our vulnerable machine is checking in and communicating with our detection server. Next week, we're going to be executing some attacks. So this week, though, before we get into that video, play around with Atomic Red Team. Get acquainted with it. Let's see what you guys come up with. I'm pretty keen to hear what you guys do. As always, please hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and have yourselves a rad day. Cheers.